Hey everybody, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin and today's reading will be for the sign of Virgo. Okay, so if you have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising or Venus, this reading is for you. And um, just remember, uh, if this reading resonates with you, please hit the like, share and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So starting out in this reading, I'm seeing Virgo that someone, either you or someone in your energy is feeling kind of lazy. Um, yeah. They're lazy, and it's it's a lot going on with with money and swords. We got we got pinnacles and swords all over the place. So let's just jump right in. All right. So the first card out is the six of swords in the reverse. Then we have the nine of swords in the upright, and we have the five of swords in the reverse, and then the king of pinnacles in the upright. So what that's telling me is is that the six of swords is saying you or your person is feeling resistant to change. You guys feel like you got some kind of unfinished business with each other, or they feel like they have unfinished business with you. But this resistance is keeping someone up late at night they're having a lot of anxiety a lot of worry um and what i think that they are worried about is making a reconciliation with you or maybe you're worried about making a reconciliation with them but um someone wants to um come to some sort of agreement so obviously you guys have had a falling out and i think the person they want to make an agreement with this King of Pentacles in the upright. Now, the King of Pentacles is someone who is um, like a businessman. Um, it could be a woman, depending on the energy, but they're abundant, um, they're secure, and they're disciplined. Okay, so this is what is on their, this person's mind. Whoever is up late at night, they are thinking about getting back into the good graces of the King of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, the second row in your deck, in your deck, in your um, spread is the queen of pentacles in the reverse knight of pentacles in the upright page of pentacles in reverse nine of cups in reverse so it looks like this queen of pentacles there's imbalance in this person okay and this is probably the person that probably needs to change um or who's resisting their change um and this imbalance that's going on this person doesn't feel like I think this person doesn't feel like they have the ability. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. This queen of pentacles is uh, financially dependent. They're unable to provide. Okay. And they might have fallen out with the king of pentacles. And <laughs> they're probably like, daddy, please come take care of me or mommy, whatever's going on. But this person is definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the Knight of Pentacles is talking about hard work, productivity, and discipline. And I think that's what this Queen of Pentacles needs because surrounding that is the Page of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse. What that's saying is, is this person is a procrastinator. Uh, they're lacking in progress and they are, uh, they overindulge. They're materialistic and they're they're overindulgent and they're in this dissatisfied energy, but it probably dissatisfied because they are not either connected to your wealth anymore or. Yeah, yeah, it's probably what they're upset about. Hmm. OK. All right. So the bottom row of your spread is the three of swords in reverse, the four of swords in reverse, the three of cups in the upright. And the, and the King of Wands in reverse. So Three of Swords is talking about uh, releasing pain, um, try, hoping to have optimism, a sense of forgiveness, because uh, the Four of Swords, so many swords, is speaking to this exhaustion and burnout and the stagnation, which I feel is that same person's energy, okay? But they're, this person's problem is that they they're the they're they're the king of wands now the king of wands is an aggressive person okay yeah in the reverse king of wands is usually someone they're they're, they're misguided they have poor leadership they could be aggressive okay um they're also a bully and they have they could have sexual problems um and their weakness and they have they express a lot of weakness they're not really ready for what they're striving for or aiming for and it looks, I'm thinking this three of cups, this person 
uh, parties too much. They would rather have fun than work hard and be like the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Yeah. See, because, yeah, at the bottom of the deck we have... We had justice in the reverse, which was lack of accountability and unfairness. And at the top of the deck we have, let's see, we got the Six of Cups. This person is living in the past and feeling regretful. Probably thinking about you, um, mad about whatever they did to get out of your good graces. Mm -hmm. Underneath that, is the Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Mm. You are wealthy. Someone, or you know, or on your way to, to, to some wealth. I, I mean, you're already in the in that King of Pentacles energy, and somebody, yeah, really, <laughs> so focused on your wealth. So, Virgo, if you are the King of Pentacles in this spread, I say um, go ahead and leave this person alone. Uh, the energy that's showing is that, yeah, they're regretful that they did whatever they did to you, but they are not, um, they're not changing. You know, this person likes fun more than anything. Let me see. What else the cards got to say? Yeah, regret, uh, underneath that. Page of Cups, rejecting change, emotional immaturity, mm -hmm. inner misalignments, overspending and greed. See, this is these cards. They're tough. And you want to know what? After that, what is the world? It's the completion. The cycle is over. You you are ending this cycle with this person, and it could be a family member, uh, it could be a friend, it could be somebody that you know is constantly dependent on you. You know, they call you up first when they need something, asking for money, constantly got their hands out, but never could give back in return. It seems like you've shut them out, but they want to come back. They want to come back and they're probably going to reach out. Their thoughts, all these swords are telling me their thoughts are heavy on you. Um, but yeah, no, maintain your coin. Don't. Don't fall for this person because they are heavily imbalanced and um, extremely stagnant. <laughs> yeah, they got to get their money up. All right, Virgo, that is all I have for you. Um, if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, uh, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to book a personal reading with me and get any more insight on this reading or anything that's going on in your life, you can email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. Um, I'll be happy to give you a reading. All right, you guys, I'll see you later.